Good afternoon, my name is Ann McClellan. I'm the Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs at Plymouth State University. We in Academic Affairs have been working hard for the past few months to prepare for the different eventualities for this fall semester. We have a task force put together of faculty and staff from across the university of about 10 to 12 people who have been meeting for at least six hours a week for the past two months to look at and analyze the different preparations that we need to have in place to bring our students, faculty and staff safely back to our campus. One of the first things that we've done is to revise our academic calendar. You know, we're fortunate at Plymouth State that we were already planning to start on August 24th, so a little earlier than most other college campuses in our region. So we've worked together with the faculty to condense our semester so that we're going to have all classes completed by the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. That includes our final exam schedule. We're accomplishing that by working through and having classes on some of our normal holidays like Labor Day, as well as Indigenous Peoples. We're not having classes on Veterans Day because that is a state holiday in the state of New Hampshire. And so it's a state rule that we cannot hold classes on that day. Students will finish up with their final exams that week and before Thanksgiving and they will have everything done by November 24th, faculty will complete their grades. Now we're doing this in order to minimize campus travel and risk for our faculty community and our student community. As we all know, many people travel quite a bit. Students go back and visit family. They travel out of state on the Thanksgiving holiday. So to alleviate those increasing risks, we have decided to end at that date. We've also been investing quite a bit in our campus spaces to look at technology and how we can best use and implement technology to support our teaching as well as our students in multiple different modalities. So by the end of this summer, we'll have 67% of all of our classrooms at Plymouth State will be equipped with Zoom technology. This provides a lot of flexibility for our students and our faculty to provide one educational experience that meets students in multiple different modalities at the same time. So you You've got students in class, you've got students working remotely, those students can switch on the next class days. It also allows students to work 100% remotely in that class. So working with our facilities people, we've been going through every single classroom, looking at safe social distancing guidelines. Plymouth State is operating at a 50% capacity for most of our classes. Um, so we're removing any excess furniture to provide and maximize the space in those classes. Any classes that have fixed seating, we're taping off seats so students can safely distance apart from one another. So we're actually changing the structure and the spatial organization of our classrooms on campus as well to maximize as much of that social distancing as we can possible. We're also looking at expanding some outdoor teaching opportunities, um, so particularly for physical activity courses, physical education, athletic training, and other areas. One additional thing that we've been working on is classroom policies. Tenants policies, for example, which require students to provide a doctor's note, for example, if they're going to be ill or out of class a particular time. We're working with our shared governance offices and, and faculty on campus to look at pausing many of those policies. We want to make this as easy and seamless as possible if a student feels ill, can't come to class, or has any other um, health interruptions that may come to their class. So we're working to create as accommodating policies as possible. One of the things I know we're talking about with a lot of different groups and probably other videos as well is that if anyone feels ill for any reason, we are encouraging them to stay home, be safe, work from home and remotely to the best of your ability at that time.